home to one quarter of humanity, one fifth of whom are youth, South Asia has the world's largest concentration of poverty and malnutrition. While South Asia produces one quarter of the world's consumed food, the region's agri-food systems today face formidable poverty reduction, climate change adaptation and mitigation, environmental health and biodiversity challenges. Transforming agri-food systems in South Asia TAFSA is a one-seizure regional integrated initiative to support actions that improve equitable access to sustainable healthy diets, improve farmers' livelihoods and resilience, and conserve land, air, and water resources in South Asia. TAFSA has a very ambitious uh, program of, of research. Um, we recognize that the food that comes onto people's plates in South Asia is coming from many different parts of the food system. It's coming from what people produce uh, if they're farming households. Uh, it's coming from markets. And what's accessible to people is in turn coming from, you know, is affected by uh, a range of different things across the food system. One of our key goals uh, for TAFSA is to really dig in and to really understand uh, what's happening across the food system uh, and, and how what's happening across the food system affects both farmers, affects people in the market environment, and um, in a really important way, uh, you know, affects what people are eating. TAFSA includes five interlinked work packages addressing key challenges that must be overcome to stimulate agri-food systems change. So the main question that we are trying to answer is that how can our region grow healthy, sustainable diets without breaching those environmental limits. We already are aware of problems around groundwater, problems of air pollution. So in this work package, we are trying to tackle some of these, understand how much and what will it take, what kind of resources will it take to grow those healthy and environmental diets. Uh, the other interesting part I'm quite excited about is we are also trying to take a longer historical kind of a loop that how have our food systems evolved and in the course of that evolution, how has it affected the natural resources, be it soil, be it water, groundwater, or um, say uh, things like how our food systems have caused um, uh, pollution at, at various levels. The initiative is composed of work packages that focus on production, markets, and consumption of diverse foods and food types as uh, culturally appropriate for diets in South Asia. TAFSA, like other CGIR initiatives, contributes to the CGIR action areas, which also are mapped and contribute to the Sustainable Development Goals. We have a fabulous team of committed scientists who have long established histories of working in the region and in partnership with change agents that are able to help us mushroom and grow the results of our research at a very substantial scale. And learnings from past histories of integrated projects that we have worked on in the past have fine-tuned the ways in which we work towards the future. We apply those learnings very strongly, again, through working with partnerships to move research from the laboratory, from the research station, from survey design and deployment, from data analysis into actual use by partners where they can do the hard work of growing it together with our consistent input and technical advice and support. So in that way, working from the bottom up, I am quite confident that we can actually achieve these very daunting goals. And now is the most important time to do so.